Today, I'm gonna show you how to turn a piece of raw pork into cured ham. It's a simple wet curing process that you can actually do at home. Start with a pork shoulder picnic skin side up. Use a sharp knife to make diagonal scores in the skin about one inch apart, making sure not to cut too deep, slicing into the meat underneath. Continue scoring all the way to the edge, and then rotate your picnic 90 degrees, and continue scoring in the opposite direction until you have created diamond patterns. I'm also removing the skin from the bottom as that will not crisp up during the cooking process. I like to use heavy duty scissors to help cut through. Now that your pork is scored and cleaned up, it should look like this. Let's make the wet cure. To a large plastic container, add two cups of salt, two cups of brown sugar, three tablespoons of pink curing salt, and two tablespoons of pickling spices. Pour in half a gallon of boiling water, whisk that around until the salt and sugar are fully dissolved. Then pour in a gallon of ice water to cool back down to room temperature. Add in your pork, place a plate on top to make sure it's fully submerged, then cover. The rule of thumb is to refrigerate 12 hours per pound. In my case, since I have a nine pound shoulder, I'm going to cure for five days. Halfway through the curing process, about two and a half days in, you're going to flip your pork over. Make sure to place the plate back on so it stays fully submerged. Cover and allow to finish curing the remaining two and a half days. After the full five days, remove from fridge, pour out the wet curing mixture, and take this time to thoroughly clean out your plastic container. Rinse the ham off, then add it back into the tub with fresh cold ice water. Refrigerate 24 hours more to draw out any excess salt. Now your cured ham is ready to cook. Transfer ham to a rack in a roasting pan. Add two cups of water to the bottom of the pan. Bake in a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven until the internal reaches 135. Then crank the oven heat up to 450 degrees. Continue cooking until the skin is crispy. Set under the broiler if needed. For the glaze, simmer half a cup of unsalted butter with three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of honey, two tablespoons of Dijon, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon ground cloves. Whisk to incorporate, then pour your glaze on the pork. Brush on all sides, making sure to thoroughly coat. Once fully coated, return to the oven for 10 more minutes to allow the sauce to tighten then remove and allow the ham to rest. With your pan drippings, heat up over the stove, add more water if needed, then add a cornstarch slurry, which is a combination of one tablespoon cornstarch mixed with one tablespoon cold water. Continue cooking until sauce thickens up, then strain into a sauce dish. Here's a hack. If you have any split skin pieces on your ham, you can doctor it up by adding brown sugar and torching to hide the imperfections. Your homemade ham is now ready to serve. Slice and try not to fight over the crispy bits. The skin should be extra crispy and sweet. Serve with your sauce and enjoy. Keeps in the fridge for one week or freezer for three months. Enjoy.